and leaving the Pacific Island to find life in New Zealand, the Tongan community still holds on to many cultural traditions, one being the Fai Kawa Whakatonga, or the Kawa Ceremony. People make an infusion from the root of it to produce a drink, and that drink is the basis of socialising, uh, and all kinds of important ceremonies in town. Once a place is determined, uh, you go there and you take along the things that you would use to make the actual drink. A fibrous strainer, to clean the, the beverage, yeah, to, to filter out the gamma particles. Squeeze the juice and that's, what the, that's the part that, that you drink. Right? By that time, there will be people sitting around in a circle. And by the way, it's only men who drink kama. Eh? It's best drunk at night, you know, because it puts people in the mood for doing things. I don't know the word, but it's also supposed to be, you know, um, a, a stimulant, eh? you know, sexually. Yeah. So, uh, so if it's done at night, there is a popular, I mean, understanding of Tongans that when the men finish drinking gum at night, they would go back and, and wake up their wives, right? Because of the effect of gum. <laughs> The only female present in the room is there to serve the cover. She is paid by the men to stay throughout the night. The interactions between the men and the female or do'a often border on flirtatious. I love you. 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 Yeah, <laughs> As the men continued to drink from the same bowl into the night, it seemed as if they were drinking from tradition itself, taking their fill of Tonga to sustain them through the week in the big city, until they can replenish it again the following week. <laughs>